friends, Bishop Susan and I are bringing you this Holy Week and Easter greeting as we attend the Alberta event of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. You'll hear some drumming in the background. We've heard that for the last several days. The drum is a sound of the heartbeat. One of the great features of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission is the opportunity that is given to survivors of the residential schools to share their stories. Most of those stories are stories of pain, loneliness, and years of lost love from within their families and homes. These children were literally taken from their families, placed in residential schools, denied opportunity to see their siblings, to speak their language, to celebrate their culture. And many of them experienced horrific abuse in these schools. The churches, and I speak for the Anglican Church, ran 36 of those schools, and we have much to answer for. The other feature of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission is an opportunity for the churches and others to offer expressions of reconciliation. And those always include a statement of contrition for past wrongs, the way we treated people inappropriately and unrespectfully, and an opportunity for us to express commitment to healing and reconciliation, the dawn of new hope and new life for people. We enter this uh, truth and reconciliation work with heavy hearts, but there certainly are indications that change is beginning to happen. Holy Week is all about reconciliation. And as we make that journey to Good Friday and we see our Lord with arms outstretched on the cross, those are arms of reconciling love bringing us all into relationship with one another in God who loves each and every one of us and wills us to love each other. This year, I know both Fred and I will be especially mindful as we enter into Holy Week and journey on to Easter of all of the stories that we have heard this year. As we celebrate um, our Lord's passion and remember his death, will hear the cries of the pain and loss that we have heard these few days. But we will also, as we prepare to celebrate the joyful celebration of Easter, count on our Lord to bring us a new dawn, a new hope of a future that will take away this pain and lead us into right relationships. So we wish all of you, each and every one of you, a very blessed Holy Week. And a very joyous Easter.